तर पुन्हा एकदा माझ्या यूट्यूब चॅनलमध्ये सर्वांचं स्वागत हा आपला आजचा चौथा व्हिडिओ आहे की यामध्ये आपण पॉलिनेशन याबद्दल चर्चा करणार आहोत मागच्या तीन व्हिडिओजमध्ये आपण रिप्रोडक्शन त्याचे टाईप्स आणि त्यानंतर डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ मेल गॅमेटोफाईट आणि डेव्हलपमेंट ऑफ फिमेल गॅमेटोफाईट एवढा भाग आपण बोललेला होता सो पॉलिनेशन पॉलिनेशन मीन्स ट्रान्सफर ऑफ अ पॉलिन ग्रेन्स फ्रॉम अँथर टू स्टिग्मा दॅट इज कॉल्ड पॉलिनेशन and the pollination is the process which is necessary for fertilization we already discuss that development of male gametophyte occurs from the pollen grain and pollen grains are released from the anther at the maturity and that released pollen grains are transferred from anther and reaches to the uh, female reproductive structure and that is stigma and the transfer of pollen grain from anther to the stigma is called pollination and that pollination is a necessary for fertilization so that's pollination here we study pollination types of pollination and some agencies of a pollination which are required for the fertilization process or we can say that which are required for the sexual uh, reproduction so first of all pollination pollination transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma that is called pollination regarding to the types of pollination there are two types of pollination that is self pollination and second one is cross pollination self pollination the pollination in which transfer of a pollen grain occurs from anther to stigma of that same flower or the another flower which is situated on the same plant that is called self pollination it means in the self pollination only one plant is involved regarding to the types of a self pollination there are two types of self pollination that is autogamy and second is genogamy autogamy in that autogamy transfer of a pollen grain occurs from anther to the stigma of a same flower that is called autogamy means in the autogamy only one flower is involved genogamy second type of self pollination in which transfer of a pollen grain occurs from anther to the stigma of another flower but that another flower situated on the same plant so in the genogamy two flowers are involved but only one plant is involved and that's the self pollination second main type of pollination is cross pollination in the cross pollination that transfer of pollen grain occurs from anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower situated on the another plant and that's the cross pollination means in the cross pollination two plants are involved and the two plants may be belongs to the same species or different species and according to that there are two types of a cross pollination and in that first is xenogamy and second is hybridization xenogamy in the xenogamy transfer of pollen grain occurs from anther to stigma transfer of pollen grain occurs from one flower to the stigma of another flower which is situated on the another plant but both these plants belonging to the same species and that kind of a cross pollination is called a xenogamy second is hybridization in the hybridization transfer of pollen grain occurs from anther to stigma anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower situated on the another plant but both these plants belongs to the different species and that is called hybridization so that the pollination and the two main types of pollination pollination two types of pollination that is self pollination and second is cross pollination okay but cross pollination is the process in which two plants are involved and that cross pollination occurs by chance so many external factors are necessary for the cross pollination self pollination occurs in one flower or in one plant only so that not totally depends on the external factor but cross pollination is totally depends on the any external factor and according to that external factors agencies of a pollinations are formed and the external factors that may be abiotic factor or biotic factor and according to that abiotic and biotic factors different types of agencies are formed and which are uh, useful for the pollination or to achieve the pollination and particularly the cross pollination and in that agency we study the different agencies according to their agents that is abiotic agent and biotic agents 
the abiotic agents like water and wind which are used for the pollination or which are helpful for pollination and according to that factors the two types of agencies are there which in which abiotic factors are involved and that is anemophily and second is hydrophily in that first anemophily anemophily means pollination which occurs with the help of wind that is called anemophily means in the cross pollination two plants are involved and in that that transfer of pollen grain occurs from one plant to the another plant through the wind that is called anemophily type of pollination and those plant which shows anemophily they are called anemophilous plant example maize in which the transfer of pollen grain occurs through the wind but for the successful anemophily that plant or the particular flower having some desirable characters or we can say that that flower shows some adaptive characters and with the help of that adaptive characters that anemophily successful anemophily occurs and that we called as floral adaptations for anemophily and in the floral adaptation that adaptive characters are seen in the flower and which adaptive characters are helpful for anemophily and in that adaptive character the first one is the flower are small and inconspicuous it means very small flowers are present in the anemophilous plant and that is helpful for successful anemophily as through the wind that easily pollen grain can be released that's why the flowers are small then after that large number of pollen grains are produced in the anemophilous plant as the wastage of pollen grain is more in the anemophily that's why already large number of pollen grains are produced in the anemophilous plant or in anemophily type of a pollination next thing is that versatile anther is present in the anemophilous plant versatile anther means that reproductive part particularly the male reproductive part situated at the top position so that's the versatile anther so that kind of characters which are seen in these plants they are called adaptive characters floral adaptive characters for pollination and that first agency of pollination is anemophily second agency that is hydrophily according to the abiotic factor hydrophily means the pollination which occurs with the help of water that is called hydrophily and those plant which shows hydrophily they are called hydrophilous plant and particularly the plants which grow in the water they shows hydrophilous type of a pollination and in the hydrophily there are two types of hydrophily again that is hypohydrophily and second is epihydrophily hypohydrophily in which transfer of pollen grain occurs below the surface of water and in the epihydrophily transfer of pollen grains occurs above the surface of a water so that hypohydrophily and second is epihydrophily and in both these cases that pollination occurs with the help of water and that is called hydrophily in the hypohydrophily that pollen grains are transferred below the surface of water and in the epihydrophily pollen grains are transferred or they can float above the surface of water in the hypohydrophily or the epihydrophily there are some floral adaptive characters which are helpful for the successful hydrophily and they are first is the flower and floral parts are unwettable pollen grains shows specific gravity less than or equal to water next thing is that pollen grains are long needle like that's why they can uh, easily float and they can uh, coil coiled around the stigma so these are adaptive characters seen in the hydrophilus plant in particularly epi hydrophily the example is valisneria in the valisneria male flower and female flowers are different and male flowers present in submerged under the water but the female flowers are float on the surface of water and at the maturity that male flowers detached from the plant they float on the surface of water and reaches to the female flower and successful pollination occurs so that is epi hydrophily second agency of pollination and these two factors are the abiotic factor that is wind and water likewise some biotic factors are also helpful for pollination and according to these different types of biotic factors different agencies of pollinations are formed and in that the first one is entomophily entomophily the pollination which occurs with the help of insect that is called entomophily 
Likewise, that anemophily and hydrophily, that entomophily also showing some floral adaptations. And in the floral adaptations, that flowers are large in color, that flowers are attractive in color, and that shows fragrance, that produces nectar due to which that insect attracted towards the flower. These are some floral adaptive characters. With that, that stigma is sticky, all end grains are rough and spiny. That's why they can uh, attach to the body parts of insect and that insect can pick and transfer the pollen grain from one flower to the another flower. So that is entomophily, that insect pollination occurs through the insect. Second biotic agency is that is uh, ornithophily. Ornithophily in which pollination occurs with the help of birds. And there are some similar kind of a floral adaptive characters also seen in the ornithophily like the entomophily. In that flowers are large in color, they are attractive, large and attractive in color. With that, that produces nectar. But the ornithophilus flower that not showing the fragrance as the birds have the least sense of a fragrance. So these are some adaptive characters for ornithophily means the pollination which occurs with the help of birds. Next one is Charypterophily in which pollination occurs with the help of bats as bat can transfer the pollen grain from one flower to the another flower and particularly this kind of pollination seen in those plants which shows the flowering during the night time. At the night time the flower, plants like Kadam that shows flowering and that releases a odor anaerobic order and bats attracted towards that order and they pick the number of pollen grains from the one flower and they transfer to the pollen grain to the another flower. So pollination which occurs with the help of a bats that is called chiropterophily. So these are the different agencies of pollination which are necessary for the particular cross pollination as cross pollination is totally depends on the any external factor. So in that we study pollination, types of pollination and agencies of pollination and in the agency we study first anemophily, second hydrophily, third entomophily, fourth ornithophily and fifth is chiropterophily. With that some other aspect we also discuss regarding to the pollination and in that outbreeding devices and pollen pistil interaction. These are also the important part that is related to the pollination. Outbreeding devices means here, nature favors cross pollination particularly. Or when we study the self pollination, repeated self pollination shows weaker progeny. And to avoid this, nature favors the cross pollination. And for this, many devices are produced in the plant and that avoids self pollination. And that devices are called as outbreeding devices. And in the outbreeding devices, we study the main dichogamy. Dichogamy means in the dichogamy that male and female reproductive structure matures or develops in a different time. That's why that avoids self pollination. And in the dichogamy, there are two types of dichogamy that is, first is a protandry and second is protogyne. Protandry means in that androsium matures earlier than gyno. That's why that avoids self pollination. That is called a protandry. Pro earlier. Tandry, andry means androsium, protandry. So, in that, androsium matures earlier than gynosium. So, that's avoid self pollination. Second is protogyny. In that, gynosium develops earlier than the androsium. So, that, that also here oh, avoids self pollination. And in some flowers, self sterility is seen. That also avoids self pollination. It means that different types of devices are produced in the plants which avoids self-pollination and that are called outbreeding devices as nature favors the cross-pollination and that's why that devices avoids self-pollination. And the last aspect regarding to the pollination is pollen pistil interaction. What happens in the cross-pollination cross particularly? Pollen grain is transferred from one flower to the another flower. That pollen grain deposit on the another flower. But in many times, often the, that foreign pollen grain may be deposited on the stigma of a flower. At that time, that pistil is the structure which recognizes the correct pollen grain and that accepts. We know that during the development of male gametophyte, that some development occurs after pollination, means after transfer of pollen grain. 
when pollen grain reaches to the stigma then stigma secrete a secretion that secretion is absorbed by pollen grain and then further development of male gametophyte occurs but when foreign pollen grain deposited on the stigma that pistil recognizes that foreign pollen grain and that rejects stigma rejects that foreign pollen grain and that kind of interaction is called pollen pistil interaction means through the any external agency like wind water insect birds or any other agency maybe foreign pollen grain deposited on the stigma at that time stigma refuses diffuse uh, that rejects the foreign pollen grain and if the correct pollen grain is deposited then stigma secretes secretion and further development occurs but when foreign pollen grain comes that foreign pollen grain deposits then stigma rejects that foreign pollen grain and that kind of interaction is called pollen pistil interaction so all these aspects are regarding to the pollination so in the pollination we study definition of pollination that is transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma types of pollination that is cell pollination and cross pollination the sub types of cell and cross pollination and with that we study that five different agencies of pollination in that anemophily hydrophily entomophily ornithophily and charypterophily with that we also discuss the two aspects related to the pollination and that is out breeding devices and pollen pistil interaction so aspects regarding to the pollination so videos la like kara ani majhe channel la subscribe kara ani videos la share sudha kara ki jene kun baras lokan paryant video post kar thank you